On this episode of the Ask Mike Reynolds Show, we talk about exploring other job opportunities as a new grad. The Ask Mike Reynolds Show. Helping people feel better, move better, and perform better. Before we get to the podcast, I wanted to make sure you knew about my free online course on the introduction to performance therapy and training. If you want to learn how to get started optimizing and enhancing performance, this is the course for you. Head to MikeReynolds.com slash performance to sign up today. Welcome back everybody to the latest episode of the Ask Mike Reynolds Show. We're up at Champion PT and Performance up in Boston, Mass. Mike Scaduto, Dan Pope, Lenny Macrina, all here and why did I say hair? Did you hear that? All hair oh, yeah. answering all of your physical therapy, fitness, sports performance, business related questions. Anything you guys want to talk about it, just head to MikeReynolds.com and click on that podcast link and you can fill out a form to ask us a question. We still get a ton of great questions. Tons of great questions, so it's good. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna introduce a new student today. Ooh. Lenny is the A C C I C I of Champion. Mm -hmm. Love it. Lenny, who do we have for a new uh, student today asking us questions? We have a new student who will be with us for a while. His name is Trey Martin. Trey comes to us from East Tennessee State University. Fun fact, East Tennessee State is east of Tennessee State University. So, is, Are there two Tennessee States? There is a Tennessee State and there's an East Tennessee State. Completely different. Working no, on West no, Tennessee West, State. Yeah. We're going to... We'll get there. But I feel like there's a market yeah, opening. Market yeah, I would yeah. say. Let's create a college. If anyone's in West Tennessee West and wants Tennessee. to start a, a university or a college, yep. uh, still State don't know, university. <laughs> still know the, the difference. So. Yep. Trey, welcome to Champion. Welcome. How's your first week been, Trey? Let's talk to you. We never you talked know, to the students. The first week's been awesome. Awesome learning opportunity here. These guys explain things very well. Sometimes my head spins with the high level of thinking because they're all niche experts. I haven't met Lenny yet. I can't really uh, say if that's true or not. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. See, yeah, that's I don't know. Yeah. Everyone else has been solid so far, though. So. Lenny was on vacation. Lenny's got a lot to prove, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. big, big week. All right, Trey, <laughs> Trey, what do we have for a, a very fun and informative question today on the show? So question one, Sam from Twitter. I'm a recent grad and been working for six months at a large outpatient clinic. One of my old CIs in private practice asked me to send my resume because he may have a job for me. Should I proceed? I'm just concerned because I've only been with my current job for six months and I don't want to feel like I'm burning any bridges so early in my career. I like it. Okay. What's his name again? Sam? Sam from Twitter. Hi. Right, what's up, Sam? That's a, it's a good question, Sam. So you're a new grad. You've been out six months? Six months. Yeah. Six months. You got a job, right? You've been working there six months, starting to like you know, make some progress at that facility, I'm sure, at this point in time, starting to get comfortable. And then one of your old CIs reaches out and says he may have an opportunity. And he's a little skittish. Sam's a he? Dang it, we don't know. Sorry, <laughs> Sam, if you're a she, I apologize. We'll just assume it's a, it's a she. We're good, so sorry. But what, 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 do, we, what do we think? I think, I think there's a lot of factors to consider, obviously. <laughs> um, you know, it, once you take a job, hopefully the employer has invested a lot in you within the first six months in, in growth and development, and they've tried to educate you on the system at that clinic if they, if they have a system. Um, and then they're, they're kind of maybe taking a little bit of a risk hiring a new grad, so um, they're trying to help you grow and develop and kind of get your, get your feet under you those first couple months. So they have invested in you, so I could see why you'd be weary about leaving quickly if they I'm have sure. invested right i'll yeah. kind of throw that back on you a little bit sam because that's an excellent point if you feel like the you know the people there have invested in you a bunch that may kind of weigh on you a little bit i like that it's a good one though if they haven't though you could almost argue it's the exact opposite yeah. like hey i've been here six months and no one's paying attention to me i feel like they're i'm just another number here right you know interesting what do you guys think I go for it Oh yeah, um, I thought we were going this way. Um, I, no, I think oh, hey. good. Good. Are we doing a podcast right now? Um, no, I think good point, Mike, and it leads me to think like, all right, you, you've been there six months, so did you sign any contracts? Did you get any bonuses? Did you have you taken any con ed? This is the employer side of my head thinking: Are you going to owe stuff back to the company that that would potentially affect, you know, what, how much money you would make or something like that? Um, but. On the flip side, you did an internship with your old CI, obviously. 
So you're very familiar with the, the type of company they are, the type of people they are, the, the population that you're going to see. Um, it, it sounds like they liked you. Hopefully you liked them. And I mean, I wouldn't necessarily hold myself back. What's your plan? Like, where is this going to help you? Um, I like being in a bigger facility and, and seeing a lot of people early in a PT's career because you get the volume of people and you get that mental database of different uh, populations to treat that will help you in the future. But um, if you're just not happy or this other facility is giving you a good opportunity and you see yourself in one or two years, three years at this other place where you did an internship at really thriving and feeling good about it, then why not? You know, if, if, if the circumstances allow it, then I would say potentially go for it. You're not worried. You're not worried about burning bridges. No, I, w I would say no. Not in a big company like that. I think everybody. Uh, I mean, we've both been there. We both worked for the big company. Uh, if they like you and you leave in a good way, you give four weeks notice and you're a professional. And depending on how close that other company is to where you potentially be going, the proximity. Um, hopefully, you have a non-compete, which I don't know how much that would hold up anyway. But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too concerned. Because there's a way to do it. I, think I would say so. I think there's, there's a, a good way to do, way to do it. Without it. Yeah. That bridge. Yeah. What do you think, Dan? I think it depends entirely on the person's goals, you know? Yeah. Mm. Like, is this person in a position where they're unhappy with where they are? Do they feel like they're maybe being taken advantage of by management? They're not getting the continuing education they want. They're not working with the patient population they want. Or maybe they are. Maybe they are seeing the patients they want to see. Maybe it's a good company with good, uh, good salary. Um, and what's on the other side of the fence? You know, is this right. is this a dream job? Is this something that, you know, I want to see myself um, staying for years and years and years? I think the other thought being is you don't want to burn bridges, but you also don't want to be the, the physical therapist where you're trying to apply for a new job and it looks like you've been to so many different facilities where someone's going to look at that resume and be like, I don't know if I want to hire this person because they're just jumping. You right. Know? Right. Um, and if you're in an industry where there are lots of jobs available, then maybe that's not a problem. But if you think that's going to be a big threat down the line, I think that it's important. Um, the other piece is that if this job is your dream job, then to be honest, I don't know that any of that even matters that much. Absolutely. Because if you're going to be super happy on a regular basis and stay there for years and years to come, you've already experienced that situation and you love the people there, it uh, seems like a no-brainer. Um, so I do think you need to sit down and maybe write the pros and cons out. Right. Want to you know chart them out, see what's good about the job you're in, you know see what's bad about the job you're in. Write the same thing for the other side, and then think about what's going to happen if you do make that decision to change. You know, is it worth your time? Yeah. And do it, we know? Yeah. Did, did he say or she say that this is a dream job? Do we, do we know that, or is just we've been offered to go back to our just to offered by? Okay, so we don't know that it's like yeah. the job that they want. Okay. I, I feel like that comes down to the answer. So the answer comes if you put everybody's thoughts together, right? The answer comes down to <clears throat> is this a better opportunity for you, Sam? Because I think that's what it comes down to. I tell a lot of people this all the time, but I, unfortunately, nobody cares more about Sam than Sam. And that's not a bad thing, right? But sometimes you have to think about yourself a little bit, and I think that's okay to think of that if this is an exceptional opportunity for you. So if the opportunity is better, and it's, it's a, a more fun situation or a more financially rewarding situation or whatever it is, I think you have to not worry about the potential of burning a bridge. And like Lenny said, there's ways to do it without burning a bridge, but I think you gotta put you and your future first and not worry about your employer as much. Now, as an employer, right, now on the flip end of that, I don't think I'm gonna get bent out of shape about this. I hope they would then learn that perhaps maybe they weren't giving you all these great opportunities and maybe they could do a better job retaining their young staff in the future, right? So I would actually kind of like kind of flip it on you. But if there is no additional opportunity, right, and you're just flipping the flip, I think we go back to kind of Dan's point a little bit here, is don't just flip the flip. Like, if this is a good opportunity, do it. But you don't want to just kind of job hump, uh, uh, job hop for, uh, for, for no reason, right? We don't, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I think there's some negatives with that too, right? So there's something about loyalty. There's something about, like, respecting people that kind of like helped you develop and kind of like build yourself up a little bit that goes a long way in the future right so you got to start building equity with somebody you know as a personality so either your current situation build some equity with them as like hey i'm a loyal you know good person that's growing here or flip to that other place because you think you might be able to do it there i think as the employer that's how you're going to feel about it but I mean, I would advise you, I think you got to do what's best for Sam, right? So unless there's a just complete lateral move, it sounds like we're all on board for you going and not worrying about it. If this is a completely lateral move, 
Does anybody's opinion change? Would you be a little more skittish to hop? I'd be more skittish to hop, you know. I think that's what it kind of comes down to kind of doing the pros and cons. Um, put myself in your shoes, uh, I think it really depends on your personality. So for me, when I came out of school, I was, I was super hungry. I was looking for something that was very specific. And if I was finding a situation that I didn't get everything I wanted, I was automatically thinking, all right, what's the next step? What do I need to do to get out of here um, and find the, the next place? And to be honest, um, I didn't do that initially. I stuck with it, and there was a lot of fruit from that. And then, you know, six years out of school now, looking back on it, um, my personality, I just, I naturally wanted to hop to the next thing without actually sitting there and thinking about the, the good uh, parts that I had and how I could potentially make it better and work towards my goals. Um, and as, instead of thinking that jumping to a new job would be the answer or solution. Right. Because once you get to that new job, you're gonna have all sorts of new problems that you probably didn't have at the other place. Maybe there's some pros, but again, there's gonna be some cons. And um, if you just make this jump thinking that's gonna make you um, happier, it's not always the case. Yeah. Good. I, I, great advice. I think it's great advice. I think you got to consider the pros and cons of all these things. But I think our main point is don't close doors with other opportunities because you're worried about hurting somebody's feelings. You got to think about Sam. You got to think about what's best for you and your future. And if it's a good opportunity for you, I think we all agree that that's just part of the business and, and you should move on, right? Mm -hmm. So good. Awesome. So great question, Sam. Thanks so much for, so, for submitting that. I think a lot of people are probably in your shoes and a lot of people kind of feel that. We get that question every now and then, which is kind of why I wanted to really, you know, answer this one that came in. I thought yeah, you just said it well on Twitter. So we wanted to kind of talk about that. But, um, you know, hopefully that helps some other people kind of wondering about this too. I think it's great you're wondering about this, right? As loyalty is going away, right? Like if you just look at like job hopping and stuff like that, you know, like like it's great that you're thinking that way. Somebody's gonna really love it, love you at, at some point as an employee, but they also have to give you the opportunities for you to stay. So it's a two-way street, so. Um, awesome, great question. Thanks so much, Sam, for submitting that. Uh, if you have other questions, head to MikeReynolds.com and click on that podcast link, and we will keep answering away. We'll see you on the next episode.